So it's the end of July, so that can only mean that we're going to be updating the Reptile Room Tour for the month, so stick around. My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content. Getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here today. It truly means the world to me. As you can see, I'm holding currently my beautiful GHI cinnamon female ball python here. She just came out of shed. As I was cleaning today, I was looking at her and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta show her off. She is getting huge, as you can see. Definitely going to be one of the females that we're going to be breeding in this year. Once she gets some more size on her, she'll definitely be uh, bulking up, that's for sure, in the next few months here and uh, should be ready by end of November, early December, I would say for sure. So really excited about this girl right here. I'm super stoked about all my upcoming projects for this upcoming year, that's for sure. But regardless, despite that, we do still have the incubator running. I do have all the ball pythons out of their eggs right now. They're in there right now, just kind of in their pre-shed. So we're going to wait for them to shed out and then we're going to sex them and go from there. But beginning to show off those babies, I'm going to be showing those baby ball pythons starting next week when I do the egg cuttings of those and you'll see that all all next week but it's really exciting the babies look phenomenal so I'm super stoked to share those guys with you guys so definitely stay tuned for next week's video so you guys can see them but yeah if you haven't already been watching the past couple videos you haven't seen these changes and shortly here I'm gonna take you guys right off the tripod and we're gonna feed some tortoises because I want to show you guys an update on that enclosure because it is awesome it's all set up basically to completion so it's just super exciting even just looking down at it right now I mean we have like the misters on there everything's basically all set up with time Timers, the lights everything so it's just an incredible incredible enclosure and the tortoises love it that's for sure they've been just so interactive with it they love coming out they love coming and seeing me basically every single day that I'm in here and uh, just being very interactive you know I mean they love all the space and everything and it's just it's just so rewarding to do so definitely if you haven't checked out the past couple of videos where I'm changing up this reptile room and also building that enclosure definitely check that out all about improving right so I'm trying to improve and work on doing things better for my animals constantly and that's what I want to do I want to take advantage of this opportunity to revamp this reptile room and do a whole bunch of cool things with it to help the enrichment and the betterment of my animals well-being and hopefully that inspires you guys as well too that's what I want to do that's my main goal so, you know, honestly let me take you guys off the tripod right now and show you around I want to show you guys this I'm super stoked Alright, so that's better. I'm a little bit covered in water right now after making some salads and washing some uh, greens, but that's okay. So I just want to pan you guys out here. Whoops, we're going to zoom out here a little bit on this wide lens. But uh, as you can see, look at this reptile room. So isn't this great? I mean, even the lighting. I got some new lighting in here as well too. So I mean, even the lighting looks great in here, which I'm super happy about. So you're gonna be seeing all these animals in some natural colors right now. But it's just super exciting. I mean, everything is not fully up to uh, where I want it to be, but that's okay. We're still in a work in progress. Like obviously over here, this doesn't look appealing right now. This is going to be eventually for the leopard tortoises themselves. And since that's going to be for the leopard tortoises, we're going to eventually move them into here but for right now, it's uh, just storage, and I'm going to show you guys that build within the next month or so. Uh, but we're going to move them over here shortly, that's for sure. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really cool. But uh, yeah, speaking of tortoises, let's come down here. So this is the big, big thing right here, right? So as you can see, we have all the lights all rigged up. We have the foggers all in place as well, too. The UVB is off right now. I mean, it is uh, closer to the middle of the night. These heat lamps are actually going to come off here shortly as well, too. But as you can see, we have little salads in place right here. That's Daisy's side. This is for the little babies right here. So yeah, everyone is doing phenomenal in their enclosures right now. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. This is still kind of a mess over here, but uh, we're getting to it, you know? We're absolutely getting to the uh, finished product, not necessarily the finished product. This is always going to be constantly evolving and changing and everything, but we're uh, getting there, you know? I mean, everything is basically set up to where I want it to be. We're definitely going to be continuously, like I said, evolving enclosures, updating 
shading enclosures for certain species. And I really want to make every single project in here something that you guys would be enjoying and interactive and learning from. So that's what I want to do with these. So like I said, we do actually have a cool surprise coming, not just the Woma Python, which is coming in another week here or so. So we'll be unboxing that here shortly. That'll be my male Woma Python. Then we'll have the 1.2 ratio that I need to start my breeding project of Woma. So that's going to be super exciting. But we do also have something that I've been keeping a little bit secret with you guys that has been in my quarantine system on the other room. I'm super stoked to show you guys and uh, show off what that species is. I've had this uh, animal now for probably about I'd say going on four months now, so I'm just super excited to show you what this animal is. It's super cool. It's a rehomed animal that I just couldn't pass up, so I really wanted to make sure that this animal was safe and everything like that. It looked healthy, everything looked beautiful, but I'm just super stoked to finally see that it's checking out and uh, super stoked to get it in here and implement it in the reptile room. So down the line, we're gonna be building an enclosure for that as well too. We have an arboreal section with these enclosures over here, like for the red-tailed green rat snakes that I wanna set up for it. So if you guys have any guesses of what the arboreal species could be definitely leave it down below i want to see what your guesses are i'm not going to tell you if you're right or wrong but i love to see what your guesses are so definitely leave those down below i want to know what you guys are thinking but look at daisy here checking back in enjoying her salad greens and blueberries and missouri tortoise chow having a blast and we got these two little silly guys right here sharing a leaf and I've never seen any kind of like competitiveness with them. I mean, they're pretty mellow with one another. They love to uh, just snuggle up with one another. And uh, I always call it like cuddling time when they're just sleeping. They like to go right next to each other, but uh, it's pretty cool. In about like five days now, this incubator is going to turn off. We have babies right in this enclosure little tub right here. And uh, once they all shed out, we're going to separate them, sex them, and uh, see what we got. So like I said, stay tuned for next week's video because we'll be doing the egg cutting of that one. And it's actually kind of funny because in the egg cutting, I was definitely wrong on my guesses on a couple of them. And it was so hard to tell. I mean, it was between normal looking snakes and black pastel snakes. So I definitely was like, uh, just through the small window that you have. I mean, I don't like to break open the eggs too much, but it was just so hard to tell between the two like do I have black pastels do I have normals it's so hard to tell sometimes especially when they're in the egg and look at the size of this guy can you believe this is Eddie the Burmese Python I mean obviously when you say Burmese Python yeah you can believe it but I can't believe that this snake hi buddy you're just smelling me just trying to see what I'm doing I mean this guy's a sweetheart you know I mean I fully after handling this guy so much as I do I mean I fully trust this guy it's even cool just looking in the viewfinder right now just seeing how big he looks in this room I mean at this size he's going to look huge once he grows up a little bit more just even slightly I mean once he starts putting on some girth to him and some more weight to him I mean oh my gosh this animal but I mean regardless he's gonna fit in totally fine for this room for the time being eventually down the line my plan is to do something really cool where we're doing like a walk an enclosure for this guy. I mean, I really, really, really want to up the stakes here where it's just something that is a walk-in enclosure. So down the line, that's what we're planning on doing. We're going to definitely do that for the big snakes, do some really cool zoo-like enclosures. Where are you going, buddy? You want to go? He wants to go in the T8s. I mean, I think that's a sign right there. I think we're definitely going to put him in that T8 right above Boa the Boa because um, I think Eddie has spoken. I think Eddie definitely wants to go into that T8, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, this guy is just beautiful. Such a sweetheart, like I said, means the world to me. I'm super, super happy with this snake right here. And it doesn't take much to tame them down, honestly. I mean, if you take good care of these guys, I mean, you just feed them well, handle them, respect them, know what they are. It's a great animal, that's for sure. Not for everyone, that's for sure, but if you guys can take care of this animal, like I said, I'm gonna be building something that's pretty darn big for them down the line once we uh, have an even bigger space for these guys. But uh, yeah, down the line, once he's a full grown Burmese Python, I definitely want to get something that's really cool. And my goal is to have something that's walk in for this guy, that's for sure. So he's not going to be in the T8 forever. So don't worry about that if you're worried about that. Just a temporary home. Cause I'll eventually need the T8s too for like my other things like the Walma Pythons and so on and so forth. So that's what I want to do with all these guys. But yeah, like I said, this guy, just a really cool snake. So yeah, like I said, I mean, a lot of things are on the coming. So like I said, next week's video is definitely going to be the egg cutting video. So maybe I'll throw in maybe like a sneak peek of the update of the baby 
these after they come out of the egg. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think that's a really cool thing to do since we're waiting on that video and the babies are basically out of pre-lay shed. So for the next couple days or so, they'll be all out of shed. I'll show you guys those guys. And uh, yeah, definitely something cool to stay tuned on. And as you can see, I mean, everything is on a self timer here. So that's the light. So basically that means that uh, the room here is shutting down. These lights down here are going to eventually turn off too. So these torches are gonna go to bed. The mister will turn on. So it comes on normally right at night and right in the morning. So this is normally when I wanna feed them is right before the mister comes on or during when the mist comes on, just so it kind of activates them a little bit more and makes them more excited to uh, come out and do stuff. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think down below. Just want to give you guys a quick update on the reptile room. Definitely still a work in progress. Trust me, by next month, it's going to look uh, even better. Honestly, I'm just constantly improving things in here. I'm a sweaty mess as always in here because I'm constantly working in here. But also too, I don't know if you guys heard recently within the past couple days, US Arc, definitely shout out to them because I don't know if you guys heard about that, but the newest update for the America Competes Act does not include Lacey Act in it. So that is super, super huge and a huge win, especially when you're caring for animals like these guys, the Burmese Python stuff. That is a uh, huge, huge win. And uh, we just got to keep fighting and supporting US Arc because there's a lot more fight uh, left to do, especially with US Arc and US Arc Florida. So definitely support them as well too, guys. And shout out to them for that huge victory. It's a ongoing thing, but we got to support them if we want to keep and uh, enjoy these amazing animals and inspire others to enjoy these amazing animals as well because it's very important. It's just love what you do, support people that do as well. So that's what we're doing. We're all one team, right? So thank you guys again for watching. If you guys could do me a few favors, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it as well as hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Definitely check me out on my social media because I was definitely throwing some hints of the babies as well on there. So if you guys didn't see that, maybe I'll throw a couple more hints on this week so you guys can check them out there. And I appreciate some of you guys who have already commented some video suggestions. I really appreciate that. I keep a video list going of ideas. Every time I have one myself, I jot it down on that list i'm just kind of going off of the checklist right there so if you guys have any video suggestions of things that you want to see or anything like that definitely leave them down below because i'm all ears i love love working with you guys it's basically that's why i do this right because i really love educating you guys i love bringing you guys on my adventures my stories everything in terms of my reptile keeping it's just all fun you know i mean we're all in this together and I just truly enjoy this and I love, love these animals, that's for sure. So yeah, guys, I just want to make that side note as well, but appreciate all the suggestions that have been coming in. But thank you guys again for watching and until next time, we will see you guys soon. Take care.